what seems to be the crux of the issue here? Is the number of Chinese students, whether in, Cag in Cagayan or elsewhere, really more than in previous years? Has there really been an influx? Well, the, the number is quite alarming, considering that uh, no less than Ched has uh, uh, stated in their, uh, in their records that there are about 16,000 uh, Chinese uh, student visas or visa to Chinese students, no? And that's quite alarming considering that uh, in, in only one year, no, you've issued uh, that much number of uh, tourist visas. Now, of course, we want tourists to come. Mm -hmm. Of you... course, we want them to invest here. And of course, we also want them to study here. But now that there seems to be some uh, problem with uh, that uh, we're involved in uh, as far as the West Philippine Sea is concerned. So I guess the number of uh, the influx of uh, Chinese uh, students is quite alarming, uh, to say the least. But that's my question, is, that, is there really, has there really been an influx? Because we always got to put numbers into context, right? What was the number in previous years? Bakanaman, it's always been around 16,000. Right, and we haven't had the chance to get well, that get that data from Ched, but maybe you have intelligence. No, but I'm just basing uh, my statement on the records that was uh, forwarded by no less than the Ched no? mm. when uh, they were asked, and also the Bureau of Immigration. But the, the crux of the matter here uh, is the fact that uh, with the Executive Order 285, it gives full discretion and authority to the Bureau of Immigration to extend visas or to change the status of uh, travel documents of foreigners who come to the Philippines. Uh, I, have no, I have no issue with Chinese tourists coming here, spending their money here. That's fine. In fact, we want to invite them all to come here so that they can help the economy. But uh, when they come here as tourists, and then when the tourist visa expires, are you telling me that 16,000 people who came here as tourists who suddenly changed their mind and became students? So I, I guess that's quite a, 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 an absurd no, uh, uh, claim, so to speak. Well, uh, co Congressman, uh, would you happen to have any kind of data that we can uh, compare this against? Do we have, for example, data of other nationalities, foreign student nationalities or foreigners that came here on a tourist visa and had their visas converted into student visas um, from other countries, perhaps? Well, uh, based on the, the uh, CHED's uh, uh, information that uh, it was out in the... Uh, media, uh, there are about 23,000 foreign students in 2023 that was enrolled in our universities. But 16,000 of those 23 are all Chinese. So, and I know maybe we can ask uh, uh, questions further by asking where are these Chinese 16,000 Chinese students enrolled? Mm -hmm. uh, are you pushing through? Because we will that? come to that when we when we start the hearing. Right, that's uh, what I was going to ask, Kong. Um, are you going to push through with the hearing despite all the complaints from the Chinese side, from the Chinese embassy here in Manila? And when po will it start? Yes, we will. We will. Uh, there's a resolution filed by Congressman Lara and Congressman D mm -hmm. uh, to investigate the, the sudden influx of Chinese uh, students in their province. So I guess... Uh, Hopefully by next week there probably will be a scheduled hearing. If not, even if, even if Congress is on break, we can still hold uh, uh, committee hearings, especially on urgent issues and uh, subject matters like this.